Oh shit. What? My bramble field keeps you late. Bramble field? Motherfucker. I have a message for you and for anyone who might be listening to this. Weezing is the greatest Pokemon of all time, and if you don't agree, you're fucking wrong. Too hot for magic. Mambo wants some Mambo wants some tan. Weezing's incredibly just such an asshole, and that's his attack. Question for you. Yeah. I assume you're Pokemon literate, yeah? Kind of. Well, at least the old 150. First gen, bruh. There you go. Yeah, me too. I'm not. Uh, second gen I was into, and uh, I did not follow afterwards. Yeah. Um. So you watched the show growing up as a youngin? Yeah. Did you all. I feel like I may have talked about this. I feel like I may have talked about this on the Conquer one, so maybe I don't want to say this anymore, but I'm going to bring it up anyway. Goldine's voice was definitely an issue for me as a child growing up. Just the. Like, Goldine, Goldine, Goldine. That is not what her voice sounded like. What was it? Uh... She was. Overtly sexual. Oh yeah. Goldine. I'm like I'm eight. Can you not try to give me a boner from a fish? I'm eight. I have boners. I have confusing boners quite see frequent. I'm gonna see if I can find. Fuck. An audio clip of her saying Goldie. Fuck. But the funny thing is, when she turned into Sea King, Sea King. It's like that was a completely different. <laughs> what? But no, Weezing's my favorite. <laughs> Weezing's great. <coughs> I love Weezing. Uh, Goldie. Quick pause break. All right, guys. I think we took a quick break now. This is um. This is um. I don't know your name, sir. He's replacing Eric because Eric sucks. <laughs> uh, Eric's gonna be gone for the rest of the episode. Uh. I was gonna my... say Cletus, but Cletus is a completely different person. Well, no Cletus. No Cletus sounds. You sound a little more like this. <laughs> no. Like I'm Matthew. a little more sophisticated redneck. You're like Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> <laughs> that laugh did not fit McConaughey. <laughs> I, mean, right, I like right, Confederate right. flags <laughs> and big trucks and big muddy boots. And, fucking and a girlfriend years. that wears Daisy Duke Daisy cutoffs 24 7. Winter, summer, I don't care. Oh, they, f <coughs> oh, they finished building the house. Nope, not yet, because it's, holy field is building it's the still house. fucking illogical as shit. Yep. Whatever, grab that shit and keep going. So, McConaughey, how did you feel about uh, Dallas Buyers Club? I thought you were really good in it. Uh, I drank a lot, so uh, <laughs> I don't remember too much. <laughs> That's my way of getting out of saying I didn't watch that movie. <laughs> That's a movie, right? Fuck! Shit, I'm so fucked. So we gotta hate you. Oh! No! No. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> your, your best note score for this world is now 23. Fuck you, Bottles! You think that's funny? That's fucking pathetic. Shut up, Matthew McConaughey. Alright, alright, alright. Alright, alright, alright. <laughs> Is that actually how he sounds? I forget how it's Matthew McConaughey similar. sounds. You're, you're deeper than McConaughey, though. But it's not, it's not, that, it's not that far off. All right, all right, all right. That's a little, I don't know, that was a little Swedish. Um, that's just a bunch of bees! <laughs> <laughs> I thought the fucking... It is summer. I thought the thing wasn't rendering or something. <laughs> you walked directly up to it. That's just a bunch of bees! <laughs> What strength? Come inside and I'll give you... I'll give you... He's totally gonna give you a fucking hand job or something. Uh, I can't fucking get up there. You know, Yet. Going from above. I or might have to swim in there in the springtime. Or fly as a bee. So it's summer and he's going to... No, because I can't become a bee. Um, fucking hiccups, no. Because Mumbo wants a suntan, remember? No, when did that take place? Uh, I think you were looking up Goldine's sexual moans. It was, yes. <laughs> that is what I was doing. What were you doing with your life? Uh, <laughs> trying to get Mumbo to do shit for me, but he's trying to suntan. You know, when I was looking up Goldine's sexual moans, uh, there was a related video. It's just some chick standing there, and there's a picture of a Gyarados next to her, and it says, uh, voice all the Pokemon, and I really hope, I'm going to watch that when we're not recording, that she just does all at least 150 original voices on her own and does them well, and I'm very excited now to watch this. Because <laughs> that would be glorious. You ever seen those Poke Bras online? Oh <laughs> my I knew god. Poke bra. <laughs> uh, I saw that back in fucking high school. 
it's like bucket list goal for me. I, I refuse to leave this earth until I have a girlfriend that has that bra. Does she have to be in a Pokemon or does she just has to have that bra? Uh, I mean, I'd prefer her Preferably be. Preferably in a Pokemon. Preferably. I don't even need more Mumbo's tokens. I. Fuck him! <laughs> I already have his shit unlocked. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Whoa, nice dodge. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> All right, this is this, this is it. shenanigans. <laughs> hey Farva, hey Farva, what's that restaurant we used to eat at? All right, all right, all right, all right. What the fuck are you talking about? You never seen uh, Super Troopers? I have once. I've tried to blot it from my memory because I'm the only human being on the planet that doesn't like that stupid fucking movie. You disgust me so much you made me fall. <laughs> There's two parts of Super Troopers that I found comical. The first was when they arrived at the um, at the restaurant as bikers and he went as a fucking like cyclist. <laughs> and the second is when they just uh, describe the game with the, the trying to say the word meow as they're uh, giving God them a ticket it. or whatever, and he just goes, "That's it," and he's like mocking him for the. You're what? We're gonna call this guy a chicken fucker. <laughs> runs away. License registration, chicken fucker. <laughs> there's no game to that. This is you calling a man a chicken fucker. Uh, there's just one part in the movie where they said shenanigans like a whole bunch of times. Like they just they just kept saying shenanigans, and then like. Uh, one guy just walks in, he was like, I swear to fucking Christ, the next guy that says shenanigans, I'm pistol- or I'm gonna pistol whip the next guy that says shenanigans. Yeah, I know about now. Hey, Farva, what's that restaurant we used to eat at? Oh, shenanigans? And there's like a bunch of guns. <laughs> oh! <laughs> you know what's the terrifying part of quoting a movie during a Let's Play? Is if you quote it wrong, you know people Hell are no. gonna call you out on it. <laughs> Way to fuck it up! Anything up here? Who? Nice. Dude. Don't need it. <laughs> hey, fuck it. Nice Dodge Caravan, bro. Which reminds me, the other day you asked me what kind of car I had. And, oh, I had just gotten a recent, I recently gotten a new car, but it was it was recent enough that I hadn't committed it to memory, but it was. Far enough along the way, that's, that sentence makes no sense. It was long enough before, I don't know how to say this fucking sentence. It had been long enough since I had gotten the car that it wasn't like constantly on my mind or anything. So when he asked me what kind of car I had, Eric here, I literally just could not remember what kind of car I owned. It's a Hyundai Sonata. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> I was going to tell you that earlier, forgot, figured I'll tell you now when nobody that might be listening would actually oh, care. God. Oh, God. Jesus God. Christ. Oh, man, I was fucking flipping dicks. Flipping dicks. The, be the fucking national pastime. Uh-huh. You're dead now. <laughs> How does it feel to no longer be alive? Bad, I hope. Tell me. Does it hurt? Did it hurt? When what? When I hit you in the face. <laughs> Just punch her out. Oh, I have a joke for you. Yeah! Appreciate it. You know the anti-joke. You're a big fan of the anti-joke. Oh, I fucking love anti-jokes. Have you heard of the anti-anti-joke? No. The anti-anti-joke is similar in a concept to an anti-joke you're about to die. Well, no, you survived it. Son of a fucking bitch. But rather than the line simply, the punchline simply not delivering, it has to be somewhat absurdist, but still be within the uh, concept <laughs> of what the joke was. And this is the one I saw. I actually made it to Facebook says because it made me laugh so hard. A man walks into a bar. He says, ow. It was a metal bar, and his ears were more accustomed to R&B. <laughs> that is two jokes in one. <coughs> two jokes and, and an anti-joke all together. I like that one. That was one. impressive as shit. And then the other one, you hear the uh, the, punch, the non-stop punchline about uh, it's part of an anti-joke thing. Like, I don't know, what's... Uh, yeah, it's like what's something and has four wheels, and then the answer is something that has nothing to do with wheels, and you go, and I lied about the wheels. Oh, know? I think so. Okay, because there was a uh, anti-anti joke that read, um, uh, what what's blue 
and has no brakes. And then, this, and then uh, the son says to his father, Dad, it's what's blue and has no wheels. You fucked up the joke. He goes, no, there's no joke. I'm talking about your new car. And he pulls off his sheet. And the guy's got a blue car there. And he goes, oh, my God. And then he, and he's like, thank you so much, Dad. He jumps in the car. And he starts driving around. And he's going down a hill. And he goes to hit the brakes. And it's not stopping. And he can't stop. And he's going faster and faster. <laughs> crashes, is fatally wounded, and dies. Up at the top of the hill, his father has tears in his eyes. I lied about the brakes. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh I did not expect it to go there at all. This is glorious. It was all separate, <laughs> full of them. I was reading them all last night. There were some fantastic ones. God damn it! The fucking cam. I'm like trying to force the camera, <laughs> and it's fighting me. I can feel it fighting me. Oh god, you want me to go up there as Kazooie? That is just bees. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that is just bees. You just run directly into it, and then <laughs> after you've already been fucked, you're like, I shouldn't have done this. <laughs> the one thing is, I have not seen the bees give you any damage, and I'm kind of curious as to what happened. They all just start stabbing you, or what? Yeah, it's just like you just take a one honeycomb of damage. Does anything happen animation-wise, or are they just surrounding you and you lose health? You just kind of like not get knocked back. <laughs> from, That's about it. From no impact whatsoever. Out of bees! Oh, fuck! Grown, Nabnut's eaten too many acorns. I've got none left for next winter now. Dude, in the winter, he's gonna be asleep. I know what you're going for, so I'm just gonna leave. Which, by the way, that annoys the shit out of me in SpongeBob. There was two separate episodes that both featured what Sandy does in the winter. One showed a hibernation, one showed a migration, and it upsets the shit out of me. You were uh, so con continuity error. Yeah. I mean, oh yeah, and then one where she just leaves, right? Well, it was just like an off joke. I think he was looking for a friend to hang out with or something, and it just says, uh, uh, "Note on the door." So, dear SpongeBob, I went south for the winter. And he goes, "I don't understand. The water's fine." And then it comes to a long shot, and you can see inside of her globe it's snowing. Oh they yeah. They don't go south for the winter. They're not fucking <coughs> birds. She sleeps. Continuity. You fucking made a reference to it yourself. You need one more caterpillar. One more catty pile, huh? I'm hoping, I'm hoping. I gave him four. I'm hoping it's doing, uh, usually the magic number is three. I'm hoping it's doing the second magic number of five. <laughs> no, this is 18. The third magic number. Little known. Not very used in video games. 18. Good luck, <laughs> fuck nut. Mm. <laughs> that is door. Door, open, break, yes. No door to hubs for me. I'm above that. Well, do you have any gold things? You can fucking, oh! You can get that thing that you couldn't get before, whatever the fuck it was. Eh, sh I don't need it. What Just it? extra life. Oh. Ooh. Pardon me? Oh. Excuse me? Oh. Please don't hit me, I'm just trying to walk! <laughs> I hate when you do that. It sounds too accurate. <laughs> it feels super weird on my throat, too. Can I imagine it would hurt? <laughs> Stop it, you fucking asshole. <laughs> this is my Eric's not my friend! <laughs> I prefer Matthew McConaughey. I like big trucks and muddy boots and working for a living. And working for a living. <laughs> as opposed to that other way of doing it. And fucking... What else do you prefer? Watching girls play volleyball in pits of mud. That one's... The fuck that happens here. <laughs> that fucking festival shit they run in our town. Yeah, well, I like it. Are I you saying I can't like something? Watching chicks play mud volleyball. Percy, are you saying I Percy. can't like it? I can't like something just because of the tone of my voice or the color of my skin. What the fuck are you talking about? That was no part of any conversation we had. You're a goddamn racist. You're a goddamn idiot. All right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> what I like is he said that exactly two times, and it's become a thing. Like, he said it twice. Um... Okay, well, I'm obviously not going to be able to fuck You're obviously fucked. Days. We also obviously have to end this episode. Dick. I love you. I don't. Kiss I love me. you too, pissy. Don't fucking touch me. Get the fuck out. Dump. All right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs>